Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about lightning web components. So what is LWC, why LWC, what about ARA, where to start from, LWC structure, this all stuff I'll talk in this video. Let's watch this video. Before I have did videos on what is Azure, what is AZ900 certification, where we need to learn, how much time to complete and how to apply a exam for free of cost. So I have uh, did all the videos. If you missed that, the link was available in description. Just go and see about uh, that videos. It will really useful to you. So now in this video, I will talk about what is LWC. First of all, LWC means Lightning Web Components, which is a new programming model to develop Salesforce Lightning Components. It's a UI framework that is built using HTML and modern JavaScript. So Lightning Components previously could be deployed using Aura Component Framework. Now we have a new framework to be deployed the same Lightning Components. Why LWC? We need to understand why Salesforce has introduced LWC where we already had the Aura component framework. So for this we need to go back 2014 web stack. Uh, generally in Aura programming model we have limited facilities uh, to build a full stack web because like rendering engine, standard elements, events, these are all not available in Aura programming model. So to uh, reduce that all disadvantages LWC has that advantages over Aura components for example in LWC we have a better performance modern web standards compatible with Aura components also faster loading sites and better security better testing and better browser compatibility and also easy of development I'm using the word Aura always what about Aura you must be wondering that since LW is here what is going to happen with aura is going away actually the answer is no because lwc and aura are a perfect match for each other you can put out lwc the aura components on the same page you are not going to see any difference between them LWC can talk to your Aura component and your Aura component can also talk to your LWC. So you can include LWC inside an Aura component. But in Aura component you can't include LWC because which is a generic framework which is LWC. So it is not possible. Looking this image you will notice that both LWC and Aura shared the same browser event, standard elements and rendering mechanism. The difference is Aura was built in ECMAScript 5 and LWC is built on uh, the latest ECMAScript version 7. So both share the Salesforce essential features like uh, lightning locker, lightning data service and base lightning components. To summarize about Aura and LWC, LWC is a new way to uh, develop your lightning web components. It doesn't mean that Aura component framework is not going anywhere. You can still use Aura programming model to create your own UI components. If you are more familiar with Aura component framework, just go and develop your website using Aura component framework. But I would suggest you to use LWC because it comes with a lot of different advantages such as, uh, such as Aura already discussed in before which is a better component performance and also it utilizes all your web stack features and also it always better to use LWC over Aura your components and also but you don't have to migrate your existing Aura components to an LWC as of now. Anyway, I'll talk more about Aura component framework in upcoming video but now I'll talk about LWC component structure. How is an LWC formed? Similar to Aura component, the main contents of LWC are also HTML and JavaScript. There is an optional content like CSS, uh, but then in addition to this LWC, an XML configuration file is also included, which defines the metadata values for the component. All these files names should be matched with the component name. The folder and files must allow the same naming rules as follows like uh, the must begin with a lowercase let letter and must contain only alpha or numeric or underscore characters must be unique in the namespace cannot include the white space cannot end with an underscore and cannot contain any iPhone. 
I hope it is very clear uh, the LWC structure which contains HTML, JavaScript, CSS and XML file. So but I'll make an another video so how we can configure this LWC in our laptop. So what the installation we need and uh, I'll show the practical experience in upcoming video. So I hope you have understand so if you have any questions on anything just comment in comment section if you not subscribe to my channel just hit that subscribe button you are going to learn lot many things in this channel thank you thanks for watching this video